Ah, g'day, Lee again with a quick demo on how to <coughs> uh, make an announcement in your Blackboard course. So when you've logged into your Blackboard, you should see the view like this and your course is listed down here and you should already know which courses you're a facilitator to uh, and in my case it's this one. When you clicked into the uh, course that you facilitate, down the left hand you should see a uh, box called Control Panel. Uh, click Control Panel and in the course tools is this link announcements. So these are all the features and um, things that you can use in Blackboard uh, and this one we're looking at announcements. So click announcements to make a new announcement and it comes up basically announcements are the first thing that a student sees when they log into your course. So when you make new announcements they get a notification and, um, and they're positioned up here the most recent announcement at the top. So here's my past tests of announcements. You can modify and delete past announcements and things like that. To add a new announcement, you click Add Announcement, put in a subject. Uh, yep, that'll do me. Uh, message. Um, now, in the message, it's, I think it's important to put links out to everything that you're talking about in the message. So, for example, this might be a task um, that students are to do for the week. So, go to the um, Blackboard log in uh, site and read through the help documents. Okay, so that could be the task. What I do though is put a link to the Blackboard login site so that people didn't have to go back, navigate or find their way through it. They could just click it in the message here. Now because we're in Firefox, Blackboard doesn't render all of its uh, tools very well in this browser. And, and so in Internet Explorer you would normally have a bunch of buttons up here that would make it easier for you to add a link. So you'd simply highlight the word that you wanted to make a link and find the link button, click it and add the URL for the way where you want that click to go to. But without uh, Internet Explorer, I'm using Firefox, I'll just put it in there manually. Okay, so there's the opening tag for the link. Uh, and then we'll just close that tag and that will come up as an announcement with a clickable link to Blackboard Login Site. Now in these number two options you can set the message to display after a certain date and disappear after a certain date. You'd have to check those boxes to activate those. Unchecked, they just the announcement will permanently be there. Uh, you can put course link in for features and Blackboard stuff, and discussion forums, etc. And then submit. So over here we just submit. It gives you a preview, announcement receipt, preview, um, go to Blackboard login site, yes, it's linking, and read through the help documents. And I like that, so I just take OK, and there's the announcement. OK, so if we go back to courses, um, right back to when it first comes in when you log in, and so I'm a student, I've just come in and logging into my course, and there's the new announcement sitting up the top there. And with that linking feature and adding pictures in and um, videos and stuff like that into announcements, you could uh, theoretically you could pretty much run your entire course that way. You could turn off this at times confusing navigation system um, for students who are very new to Blackboard. Uh, you could turn all that off and just make use of the announcements only. That's just an idea and um, announcements pretty important tool. So that's me out.